But enough of that game, man. Let's talk about the real game Saturday. Now, are you ready, man? Because it was an AFC North opponent, man. We had AFC North ball. <laughs> you know, hey, man, we, we, we had to talk about this AFC North I guess game, both, right? Both days, right? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> and, and, you know, anytime we get AFC North ball, we're going to be tuned in. We're Is gonna that be, why we're talking about this? We're, we're going to be so <laughs> enthused about the game because it was AFC North ball. Of course, that's why I was so tuned in. Because AFC North Ball, that's why if and people saw post game, I put up a little video, a little reaction. I was reacting to the Baltimore Ravens getting knocked out the playoffs. The same way Claypool said that the Browns would get clapped. That's how I was feeling with the Baltimore Ravens. I said, man, I don't care about y'all knocking Derrick Henry out. Y'all getting clapped. Next week. So that's why I was so excited. That's why I was so enthused. That's why I was so tuned into the game. And you saw me in that Bills apparel. <laughs> ah, gee. Everywhere. That was why. Because it was like, yo, this is the big, like, I'm giving the middle finger to the Ravens organization. <laughs> that, that's, that was the thought process the whole time, Deke. Okay? Don't let no one tell you different, baby. Well, <laughs> people are starting to question you. <laughs> they really are. And I think I'm starting to get on this side. Because it felt like what? a middle finger to Pittsburgh. No! That was to the, that was to the Ravens! AFC North! AFC North, man! You're a little too excited. Come on, man! No, no! The, 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 the enemy of my enemy is my friend. You feel me? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Isn't that the art of war? Like, that? that's, that's strategic. Why do you think I do Buffalo Bills film breakdowns? Because it was all <laughs> leading to... Them beating the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, and I needed to identify what they did well and what they struggled in, send the info up there so that way they could perform and knock out our arch rivals. Think about this. Would we be more upset about the Buffalo Bills winning the Super Bowl or the Baltimore Ravens winning the Super Bowl? We would lose our mind if the Ravens won the Super Bowl. We would absolutely go crazy. We would hate it. Can't have the Ravens winning the Super Bowl. You know how crazy of an offseason that would be to hear Lamar Jackson talking about winning the Super Bowl? The only thing worse than that would be a Baker Mayfield won a Super Bowl. That's the only thing that been worse. So, you got to find that common ground. You got to find <laughs> that, 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 that one part where it's like, you know what? The lesser of two evils. You know what I'm saying? The enemy of my enemy is my friend, in the Buffalo Bills and Bills Mafia just happened to be our best friends, man. They took care of business. Not only, not only did they handle business, but some people even said they exposed Lamar Jackson, right? They 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 said, man, they these guys have a great plan up there. They understand how to, it kind of looked like they've been watching our tape in terms of how we attack Lamar Jackson with the Steelers, you know? It, it, it looked very similar to the game plan. Whoa. That's all I'm saying, baby. Oh, I think that's why people are concerned about these Bill, Bill's film sessions what? here. They, they think <laughs> they think the insider info is going up, not for the Ravens. You think that? No way! But for the home squad here, that's, no. what, that's what they're worried about because technically what? we should have been playing the Bills this week. If we would have been playing the Bills, I would have had this. But I told you, I just had, I was very skeptical. <laughs> you wouldn't have skeptical. set it up. <laughs> right. I wouldn't have said, I was just skeptical because of how our play was the past six games of the year. I was like, man, I just got a bad feeling about this one. And remember, I even said, we did our predictions. I said, I've been here before. We've seen this. I still picked us to win, but we've seen that scenario. So that was the biggest reason why things have played on the way that they did. But come on, baby. I don't know I if we can do any more Bills film sessions. What? Come I don't on. Know. Listen, listen, man. I wasn't even rooting for the Bills. I was just rooting for the Ravens to lose. You know what I'm saying? I thought that the was Bills, the fan way, right? The Bills just so happened to send and all that they, stuff. They just so It was just the perfect time. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, alumni here to take the hat. And I'm like, oh, hey, hat. Oh, Ravens. We don't like those guys. Perfect storm. Perfect storm. That, did I come in here with Bill's gear on today? <laughs> did I? Did I did I did I put Bills? Did I did I change to, to a Bills picture behind us? Did I put a Bills jersey up in here? Huh? 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 I don't know. Actions speak loud, though. I Come think that's on, what man. it is. Exactly. I think that's what it is. And, and that's why we, we saw that celebration. We're like, wow. 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 You know, that was the first Bill celebration video, though. Think about how many reaction videos we got for the Steelers. <laughs> Think about how many watch parties we've had for the Steelers. We haven't even had a, a, a watch party for a Bills game. You notice that, right? I was strategic. We, we could see your emotion, though. You, you, you see, I was strategic. <laughs> I skipped over the Bills Steelers game for the watch party. I skipped over the divisional round for the playoffs for the watch. I'm like, oh, it, it was there. It was there. 
And now I'm like, AFC Championship game. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Wait a minute. Lord, Lord. This is decisions. <laughs> but either way, man, either way. Yes, I, I enjoyed it. I did. Because, like I said, man, my jam you got, Dean Marlowe was able to be out there making plays. <laughs> the, the big pick six by uh, by Taron Johnson, man. This dude. What the hell? Dude. What the hell? <laughs> you, I think you, I, I blame you. You know why? Why? Because remember when we broke them down, we said Trey White is the guy. We said that's the guy you want to avoid. But we said, man, we're, we're a little skeptical about oh, yeah. Levi Wallace. We said Taron Johnson, he was a younger guy. We hadn't really seen a crazy amount of productivity from him. And we just questioned just the overall depth two times opposite of him. And ever since then, man, Taron Johnson has had two pick sixes. He's been playing well. <laughs> Levi Wallace been playing well. I'm sitting here like, dang, DQ the one. <laughs> If anything, you might be the sleeper cell. You might have said the key words to wake them boys up up there. And now, think about this. No. Ever since you said that, they've been hot. I think you sent my tapes up there is what happened. That, I think I think you sent it up for bulletin, bulletin board. board material. <laughs> Listen, guys, this is what they say about y'all down here. He represents Pittsburgh to the core. Did you send my Duck Hodges bid last year with Josh <laughs> Allen? Is that what happened, too? Hey, hey, hey. And Josh, that, all I'm saying is I'm innocent, man. I am innocent, okay? It was not me. That's all I'm saying, man. I was rooting with pure interest, pure heart. Ravens, JMU. <laughs> the place of my my daughter. My daughter was born. My second daughter was born in Buffalo. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I was rooting because I'm like, this is what my daughter, she came into this world in there. So it was that, that, that was yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't like... Oh, let's go, Buffalo. I wasn't singing a shout song and dancing around. I don't hey, know. Hey, I wasn't giving them all that. There might have been something man. different on tapes here. What? What are you talking about? I ain't do all that. Well, we're glad you broke down while you were rooting for the Bills. It's the least just, I could do, right? Just for the clarity. It's the least I could so, do. So, I don't know. What would you think of the game? I enjoyed it. Um, I, I thought... Well, obviously the scoring was low. We I thought we both thought it was going to be higher, and yeah. obviously we didn't anticipate the wind getting as crazy as it was. But that is Buffalo for you, man. Buffalo weather. It could be sunny at one moment. It could be sunny at one moment. A blizzard, a blizzard in the next, and then a wind tunnel. You know, five minutes later, and literally we saw that it affect the kicking game in a major way. We saw Justin Tucker miss kicks that we've never seen him miss. And I, I would, thought he kicked those good. It wasn't. No, no, it, it wasn't it, like shanks or anything. No, it was like, not at Holy all. shit! This is just leaking one way yeah. or another. Yeah, and then even um um with uh excuse me with the uh, the the Bills kicker, it was the same situation. When you don't think he shanked that? That was bad though. Well, no, I'm just saying. But like, if you watch them throughout. All their kicks had different, like crazy movement with it, where it was either going to be heavy right, heavy left, and it looked like they guess. were trying to adjust to it, but were just guessing wrong. And like I said, that can't happen. And I do think that that hindered a lot of what both of those teams were trying to do. We heard the the commentators talking about just them trying to throw the ball and not being able to do it. But then Harbaugh speaking on just the the pistol center quarterback snap exchange being a little bit different because of the wind that was out there. But I I thought that. Some of the things that we talked about going into the game, right? We said Baltimore runs the ball, but they do it differently. I said that they don't run this power offense like the Colts. They're more finesse. And the reason why I thought the Bills would handle it well was You're because right. of Edmonds and Milano. They're built for that style of game. And it definitely showed up multiple times where just open field, sideline to sideline. That's that's their game, man. They, they're of the Shazier model. They're of the Devin Bush model. They're not Vince William types, right? And that's the difference. When you're talking about matchups like that, they matched up well against the Ravens. But then, man, the Ravens still had their opportunities. They did. They, uh, they, it was. I mean, it was the pick six. I yeah, mean, the, they the were, six where were they at? With, the, the, within the 10. It was, 10, absolutely. It should have stood by the score, yeah. And literally, man, it was just a Tampa 2. I understood what uh, Lamar was looking at. Because he was working the tight end on Edmonds. He just never sees that vertical hook guy who's sitting there. And literally, when watching him release it, vertical hook guy's not there. It's a touchdown. Problem is, you got to know the difference between Tampa 2 versus regular 2. That's something that Mason Rudolph struggled with as well. Something that we talk about, man, when you're switching up those coverages, subtle differences, but major in terms of this route being there versus it not being there. Like, that little subtle change can can just dictate everything and right there it cost him and i didn't realize that was his first um interception in the no 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 they yeah they said that was his first red zone interception or something like so. that yeah it, basically they were saying he's done really good in the red zone yeah because i know that they kept saying that with josh allen i was like yo why are y'all trying to jinx him because josh <laughs> hasn't turned the ball over in the red zone no no interceptions like he, he finds ways to take care of the ball does a great job at it and lamar that had been a similar case 
But literally, they just kept saying, oh, man, these guys in the red zone. It's, oh, yeah, it's just red zone. I'm like, oh, yep, here we go. <laughs> and then that, that happens. And then we already saw them jinxing jink the kicker. What was that, 10 3 at that point? Yeah, it was it still was 10 it was a three. They game. could have even kicked the field goal. It yeah. 10 6. It's not no like question. the Bills' offense was, was gangbusters. Yeah, out there. everybody, like, both offenses struggled with the win and more so with the Bills because they wanted to throw the ball because obviously yeah. that Ravens defense. As they had talked about in the broadcast, had just stonewalled Derrick Henry, who was on a tear the second half of the season. But they stonewalled him, kept him for what I think forty yards rushing in the game. So they knew that they weren't going to be able to have that type of success running the ball. But as a whole, I thought that man, they did enough through the air. Man, they made the plays they did they, the, the, that they needed to make. Obviously, Diggs still was making the timely catches. I mean, that rapport, like I guess. I mean, it's been there. You've seen it through the films and stuff like that. That's their bread and butter. That's their saving grace when things aren't working. That's that. That's their bend to A B connection that they have going on, and it's hot right now, man. And that was one of the things that kind of baffled me a little bit was some of the miss throws by Josh Allen, like wide open ones. Deep. Yeah, and because all I've seen all year yeah. was him hitting those. And but that's when they kept talking about that win stuff because literally we saw Josh. I think Josh had two or three where he missed downfield yeah. touchdowns. We saw um, Lamar have one as well. And then the other quarterback, I forgot his name. He looked just like Lamar when he came in too. <laughs> Holy cow. I swear it was the time I looked at him. I said, Bay, if you didn't tell me this wasn't Lamar and like I didn't <laughs> see the number, I would swear that's like the towel, his mannerisms. I'm like, yeah. Yo, he even calls the plays like Lamar. Like, look just like him. But he even had an overthrow as well on a wide open Hollywood Brown. That wind out there was nuts. Nuts. But it, it was a great day because we got to see the Ravens lose. Is that, is that what the score ended up with? Because yeah, 17, once, it was 17 3. Once he threw that pick, I, I didn't tune out. I started mm-hmm. playing Madden. I had the game on my laptop. Yeah, yeah. But the Ravens had another drive in the fourth quarter, yeah, they correct? Did, yeah, and that was with the uh, with the backup quarterback. He came where, in. Where they at least had a chance to yeah, get they, it within they got one him around, score. They got him yeah, around then I saw midfield. Lamar. Yeah. I saw Lamar get injured. I'm like, this mm-hmm. game's over. But then, yeah, they yeah. got around midfield. The thing was. Um, once Lamar went down, I think we were all surprised with the the young kid that came in and, and how he played. But I don't think it ever felt like it was going to get to that point. It was more so they can score if they score this touchdown right on this drive. At least it's, a, at least it's a one score game. Right. But you, it, it goes back to the yeah. Packers Rams. You never really thought Correct. Ravens were going to win. So this. even if they would have scored, it'd have been what two to three. Minutes it already would have been tough yeah. if Lamar was still in. correct. It would have been really tough. Yes. So that was the the big thing with that. So even though he played well in that little bit of time, it Given just the circumstances. it was never gonna be this crazy dramatic ending, which I was a little bit happy about because who wants to see dramatics when it comes to the Ravens? We want them to just get beat and get up out of here, you know? So I was very much excited to see that. But as a whole, man, I thought that the Bills rose to the occasion. I and, and I will say this, I don't think that either team had a, a, a dud of a performance. Like, you know how like, we talk about sometimes like, oh, this team went out here and got exposed. This team went out here and they just not good. I don't think that was the case. I thought both teams did what they do. I just think that the Bills handled the the spread you know, off, uh, the spread option running style that Lamar and J.K. Dobbins like to run a lot better than that Ravens defense were able to handle Josh Allen. And obviously the big turnover, that, yeah, the was, the, that was the difference. Yeah, but as a it would have been 10-10. You scored yeah. a touchdown there. Or, he, or, or think about this: the the missed field goals prior to that. At worst, you're looking at 10-6, 10-9. 10-6, Yeah, you kicked yeah. the field goal there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so to me, I thought both teams were doing what they were having to do, especially considering the circumstances from a weather standpoint. Felt like a, a game 10, 20 years ago, man. It, it like did, right? Me growing up in the in the mid two thousands. It was, was AFC North ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was. <laughs> you're funny, man. <laughs> It was like I see the whole ball, man. That's what it was. I was looking for Jamal Lewis to come out of there, man. You know, <laughs> yeah, I was excited, but it was good. It was good. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, but as a whole, though, man, it, it was good to see, just from a historical standpoint, to see an organization like the Bills, who we said, man, the reason why this year was kind of cool from a playoff standpoint, you got these different storylines. The Browns making the playoffs for the first time in how many years? Stills returning to the playoffs. Bills in the playoffs, winning three, the division three for the, in the first AFC time. North. Yeah, so it was like. It was cool to see those storylines playing out. And then you had, you know, two of the the younger premier quarterbacks in terms of Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen going at it. Then obviously the Bills win, advanced to their first AFC Championship game. And I mean, think about the last time they were in AFC Championship you know game. What, like, you know what documentary was playing this weekend? Uh-huh. <laughs> the Four Falls, uh-huh. man. <laughs> So it's like when that's you, that's got to be. I mean, watching crazy, that bro. for Bills people, that's got to be devastating. Watching no, that again, no, yeah, that's got to be terrible. It, it kills them, and, and even 
like the kicker. And you can even tell they try to make it positive yeah, throughout as it, it goes. It, like, rough. you know, it's still the Bills. We're still Buffalo. No, like, like, seriously, man, I remember <laughs> when I first got there, JMU, right? JMU got yeah. super proud. Tell me, I'm from JMU. And they like, bro, the last JMU got, it ain't work out. And we're like, what you mean? And I Google Scott Norwood. It was no way. That was the kicker. No way. Yes. So even and Scott's, a, I mean, he's a beast. He's in their their uh, like wall of honor, similar to like our Hall of Fame, Wall of Fame here in Pittsburgh. He's up there for that in the Bills, obviously in the JMU Sports Hall of Fame. I mean, the guy is decorated, but that one kick has forever stained his legacy. Like that's all they. So literally, when I got there, that's all they would tell me. Like, man, you heard about the last gym you got? You remember the last gym? I'm like. Dang, dude, I thought I was on Friday. You heard about the last security guard, right? Like, whoa, hey, hey, man, easy, big fella, easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but it, it, it is good to see them back out there. And, man, it's going to be exciting. They got a good matchup coming up this weekend that we'll obviously preview later on. Another episode brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top-rated sportsbook and app. Deke, not only is it safe, but it is secure. And most importantly, baby, it is reliable. And for all the first time users out there, if you use the promo code MOTES, you will receive up to $1,000 in deposit bonus money. So, Deke, tell these people to stop wasting time. Like The time is now. It really is. It's the most valuable thing we have. Exactly. So stop wasting it. Download the app. Use the promo code and get an opportunity to make a little money.